All right, guys, this is going to be an overview slash general impression of the FN509. Should you get it or should you pass? When you buy the FN509, it has an MSRP of around $650. You can get it for much less than that. I got mine for $500, which is a pretty good deal for a modern striker fired gun, especially from FN. So when you get the gun, usually it comes with two magazines. I happen to get three magazines with mine. You get a manual, you get a back strap, and you get uh, generally two 17 round magazines, which is pretty cool. So, and obviously you get this nylon case, which is, is pretty neat. So uh, the 509 does a lot of things right. And there are a few things that it does wrong, so much to the point where I'm gonna go ahead and say pass, and I'll get into that in a little bit. So the big three guns of 2017 have been the CZ P10C, the FN 509, and the Wilson Combat EDC X9. These are the big guns that uh, have stirred some buzz uh, for 2017. Now I'm a big fan of FN. I love their SCAR weapons. I carried an FN rifle when I was in the military. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about FN. So... With that in mind, let's take a look at what the 509 does right, okay? Actually has a really good trigger for being a hinge trigger. Really good reset, really crisp and sharp. It's a good trigger. The grip on it is absolutely great. It really grips into the hand, it's comfortable, it's gonna lock into place. Um, you push this little roll pin out to change out the back straps. The mag capacity is pretty good too, it's 17 rounds. The cool thing about the 509 that stands out to me is you get a full-size frame on, side, on top of a uh, compact Glock 19 size slide, which is a really cool concept. You get front cocking serrations, you get a light rail, uh, you get decent sights. They're luminescent sights, meaning they have to charge by either sunlight or artificial light. The problem with that is if you keep your gun in a safe all day, uh, they're not going to be ready to rock and roll when it comes to night. That, to me, is kind of bogus. Obviously, everyone likes their own style of sights. I don't like U-notch rears, so I'm not a fan of these sights. There's aftermarket sights available, and there will be more as time goes on. Really good undercut under the trigger guard. They recess the crown of the barrel, so if you happen to drop your uh, slide or muzzle first into the ground, it's not going to damage the barrel, which is a really cool design. Um, other than that, that's what the 509 does right. You guys might kind of laugh, but the issues I have with the 509 are the controls, and apparently this is commonplace doing a little research. And as of the making of this video that I'm aware of, there are not aftermarket parts to solve these issues. And the problems I have are with the magazine release and the slide catch slide release. So what exactly am I talking about? Well, first off, this gun is 100% ambi, which is really cool. Me being a right-handed shooter, when I go to drop the magazine release, uh, it's been kind of sticky. I will admit it has been better later, or it has gotten better over time, but initially it was really sticky. That could be partly that I'm bopping it and obviously it's gonna push out on the side and hit the other side of my hand, but it's kind of sticky. Also, you have to get the magazine in just the right angle for it to uh, insert. The other issue I have, and this is the big one, is the slide stop. If you'll notice right here, it's got a mold into the frame. Now what this is to do is to prevent you overriding the slide stop when you're gripping the gun. So your slide will lock back on the last round of your magazine, which is an issue for me because I have a really high grip on my guns. The way I shoot, I shoot really aggressively. Well, that only works half the time. The big thing is though, guys, the slide stop is very, very small. Now this might be a small point of contention, but it's a big enough reason for me to want to actually sell mine and go ahead and say pass, unless they come out with an aftermarket solution. I was shooting this during the warmer months and my hands were sweaty one range session and I tried and tried and tried and could not manually lock this slide, the slide to the rear with the slide stop because it's that small and it's that hard to hit. Again, you may not have that issue. That's just an issue I've had with it. And to me, 
if you're not, if you don't have the controls down, it's kind of inexcusable in 2017. I mean, this had the potential to be the next service pistol for the U.S. military. The, this pistol came from the MHS trials conducted by the U.S. Army that the SIG ultimately won, um, which I'm not a fan of that, the 320. I like SIG, I just don't like the 320, but that's another topic for another day. So, I don't like the fact that it's like that. Reliability's been great. No issue reliability-wise. Accuracy's been good. It's a good gun, don't get me wrong. I just don't think that they should have released that pistol until they had better controls figured out for it. Again, small point of contention. You may not have those issues. I happen to, so I'm going to go ahead and say pass. If they ever work those issues out, or if you like yours, I think this is a really good candidate to have your slide milled for a Trigicon RMR or a Red Dot of sorts. I think this would be a great pistol for that. Price is right. You can find them pretty cheap. 500 bucks. that isn't bad. That's pretty standard for striker-fired guns nowadays, especially for an FN. Um, so at the end of the day, guys, don't get me wrong. It's a solid pistol. It's just not for me, okay? Um, there's just guns that do it better. So, it, you know, everyone's, of course, on a budget. None of us can just buy whatever we want it all the time. So understanding that, I would say go ahead and pass on the 509 or at least get some get to handle it maybe at a gun store if possible but before you pick it up again you may like it you are you might like it it may work wonders for you it's just not for me so that's why i'm gonna go ahead and say pass on the 509 <clears throat> there's just too many other good guns out there that get it right out of the box like the cz p10c the wilson um glocks gen 5s i mean all those are pretty pretty solid guns so Oh, and we'll talk about the CZ p c hopefully in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped. Um, again, small points of contention. It may work for you. It might not. It just doesn't work for me. So thanks for watching.